and good morning, everybody from Los Angeles. Uh, this is our, our, our surprise panel. Uh, I want to uh, take this opportunity to uh, introduce a childhood uh, and, and, and teenage hero of mine, actually a teenage hero of mine, um, and, and that is David Hasselhoff. Uh, David, of course, is globally known uh, for his contribution to cinema, to his contribution to uh, pop culture and culture in general. Um, this is this is one of uh, so we thought would be a very relevant way of closing this off, and uh, uh, and and closing our our digital Davos for the year. Um, David, you need no introduction. We all know you, but <laughs> what we would love to know from you is what are your new projects? Uh, well, my new projects right now. I'm in negotiations with Paramount Plus for a um, film. And I just finished a series called Z, Z E Network. And uh, that was done in Germany. And um, my immediate projects are a tour. And I'm going on tour uh, March 7th. And my daughter, <laughs> my daughter is getting married. Oh, congratulations. Uh, yeah. congratulations. Well, I don't, I, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I love your yeah. candor. <laughs> on uh, February 4th. Oh, That's, wonderful. It, That's it, good. It, so, so, so I got to share a story. Okay, yeah. so so here's the background. And uh, <laughs> so, so David is a dear friend, a dear friend to my family. And and uh, he's also uh, in my neighborhood. So where the studio is based in, it's like kind of the new Hollywood, right? David is like... So, Across the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. So here's like, it's, you know, it's, it's this area where like, you know... It, Kim Kardashian, everybody's here, right, in this vicinity. But I bring global leaders here. I mean, like C suites, right? Like like Mr. Anand here. And but C suites from um, I mean, the oldest banks in the world, everybody comes here and learns about creativity. And but they meet David and they are six-year-old, seven-year-old, and teenage boys and women again, girls again. I'm like, what's happening every <laughs> single time? We have like they turn into kids in front of you, right? And, yeah. and so I bring them here, and it's like it's is David Hasselhoff really your neighbor? That's the first thing they <laughs> ask me. I'm like, yeah, he is. Uh, and so, so then I'm forced to then walk them over. I go, David, please meet the CEO. <laughs> and and, and, and CEO of Northwestern. He brings Florida. ten people. <laughs> Not three people, but ten. These are world leaders. These are global leaders that turn into. It's amazing. It's. I think it's a beautiful experience, and I think that touches on. This, this, you know, you said something really prolific that actually made a huge impact in my life. It's that everyone has a child. Yeah. You want to share your version of that idea? Well, everyone has. That's, your, your, that's what you said. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because it's true. It's 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 still true today that everybody has a childhood, and um, if we go back to being childlike, then we have a chance. We have a chance. Um, when the Berlin Wall came, they they, they called me, and and said, uh, like the Sylvester show, is this in Germany? Yes, there's there's the significant part of Germany, Switzerland. Okay, then uh, they called me and they said, uh, uh, would you sing, uh, looking for freedom and flying on the wings of tenderness? And I said, only if I can sing on the wall. Yeah, and I and then they said, oh okay, and I hung up and they said. The girl I was with, she said, do you think there's a chance? And I said, no, <laughs> no. And it turned out that uh, they got the Chancellor uh, Honecker and the Chancellor uh, Kohn from uh, East and West Germany to agree. Yeah. And they said, how do you feel about heights? And I said, um, OK, I'm six foot four. And they said, no, no, heights. And I said, Oh, you mean you mean like in a crane? They said, yeah. And then I said, no problem. Next thing I know is I'm in a crane singing and looking for freedom to a million people. Yeah. On 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 July 31st, 1980. Was it nine? Nine. Yeah. Wasn't it New Year's? Yeah. New Year's. Actually, it was. You were actually there. I wasn't there. I was a bit young. I was there. You were there. Yeah. Yeah. So so. So yeah, no, absolutely. But I mean, you know, um, Anika brought up something about, you know, so Anika grew up on the east side of the wall. Right. And uh, so Anika, tell us how, you know, how you came to know of David. So I was, I was born 
before the wall fell and without the events without you singing i wouldn't be sitting here right now to be super honest wow. and at checkpoint charlie in berlin one of the crossing sites yeah. there's still this image of you yeah. in the crane with yeah. your leather jacket with the sparklers on and Light. the piano right and the piano scarf so Light. you became a folk hero <laughs> in germany scarf. really the piano scarf we all know it we grew up with it we all know your song we do yeah. Yeah. and i came to know you because the first two shows that made it over were night rider and they yeah. watch right and that's dubbed in german so i didn't know what you sounded like i heard you in german but we all grew up with you yeah how did you see germany back then what was well what happened was i flew over and i saw the wall and i just was blown away and and i said can i go there you know feeling that i was the night rider they said yes any american go there i said any american and they said, yeah. So I went through Checkpoint Charlie and they, they checked me and they, they, they recognized me. They looked at me and they, they went, whoa. And but they passed me through. And I met uh, three girls uh, who were like outside of the Grand Hotel. And they said to me um, uh, like that. And I said, why are we sitting in this gorgeous very ritzy hotel when when it looks like black and white outside and so i moved the the whole interview outside and i took a picture with the girls and i said come here tomorrow um and i will put you on in in, in the berlin paper called the build and um uh so i went to the build i went back to the checkpoint charlie with a picture and i said you must run the picture of the girls and they said okay and but it was the weekend, and so it was it was Friday or something like that, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, there was the picture, and I went, oh great! So I went back to Checkpoint Charlie, went through, and uh, the girls were still waiting, and they were waiting at twelve o'clock, and they they screamed and they ran away, and I went to Gera, and my daughters were picked up. They, they opened for me, my daughters did. They had a group called Bella Vida. They opened for me. And I said, you want to come to, a, it's an Audi promotion, they're paying me some money, blah, 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 blah. And then the people in Gera were freaked out. They were like, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, give it a I went, wow. I've been looking for freedom. And they went, <laughs> I've been looking so long. <laughs> I've been looking. And they were freaked out. And and my daughter came to me and she said, Dad, you are really famous in Gira. And it turned out he's and and and, and they, they asked the, the people who picked them up from the airport, why is he so famous? And they said, Because he sang for hope. He sang for freedom. And yeah. from that moment on. Right. I I sang for hope and I still sing for hope and I still sing for freedom. And I, I, I believe that music and this world and, and Fernando can, can bring us together. Uh, hopefully, I don't know how, but because there's so much discontent in the world, you know? Then we, you know, this is really interesting. So besides um, our neighborhood being uh, a real life sitcom, uh, in, in real time. So, so what most people don't know about David that I didn't know up until like spending time with him is you spent most of your career, not so much, yeah, this is part in front of the camera, but you spent your time helping children who were struggling with, um, I mean, cancer. I mean, you had, your, your fans were all kids and you were visiting them at the hospital wherever you would shoot. Yeah. I found that breathtaking one because you know, I, I I try not to make music anymore because I I think I sp I, I have more impact showing what the offspring of music is is creativity, right? And I teach that to the world, right? But I said I'm gonna write a song with you because I was so inspired by the story of you of of a of a boy who you visited, and do you want to share that story of the boy who you visited in, in your jacket? Because I think it shows a true testament of who you are. <laughs> My mom uh, called me and she said, um, I have no idea how they got our number, but there's a boy that was hit in a crosswalk 
And uh, I said, what hospital is he in? Figuring he was in far away. She said, he's in Sherman Oaks. And I said, wow, that's right across the street. And I called my dad and Buddy was, was, was my road manager at that time. At that time. They both passed away. And I, and I went to see them. Um, and it was like a vigil. It was like people were all praying and they were like, it was very dark and they had the pastor there or the priest and it was just heavy. And I went in and I said, hey, it's Michael Knight, it's Michael Knight, come out of your coma, come out of your coma. Because I, I brought a child out of a coma before and um, uh, nothing happened. It was, I spent a good half an hour trying to, to bring this boy out of a coma. And I, I, I turned to the parents and I said, I'm sorry, I mean, nothing's happened, you know? They said, well, thank you very much, you know? And I said, why do you still believe in God? Why do you still believe in God with your son sitting there dying? And he's, I didn't say dying, but your son is laying there and he's in a coma. How do you still believe in God? And you know what they said? Because you came. And I went, wow, because you came. And I went, that's an incredible story. And I went, okay, back in. So I went back in and I got the kid out of the coma and the kid went, Michael Knight! Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then that's all he said. And then he went, ah! And, then, and the doctor said, I'm sorry, we, have, we got to give him morphine. And they gave him morphine and he passed away. And it was Christmas Eve. That's a story. That's, that's a story. And, and, and the, the, the way it all started was uh, uh, Randy Armstrong came to visit me on Knight Rider. And he was buried in his, in his Knight Rider hat and jacket. And they sent me a little Polaroid because Polaroid pictures were big then. And he said, you taught me there was more to life than pain. And I went, wow. So I ended up seeing children in, um, as, as a calling. I felt like the reason I got Knight Rider was a calling and Baywatch now. And uh, I saw children from 30, 38, 39 countries all over the world. And, and so, so I know this first time because there were you know, um, quite a few artists who, who carry the same torch and also the same burden, right? And it's a very complicated uh, thing that most people don't know unless you're in the industry that your art saves lives, right? Yeah. It brings people together and connects, but they're also, you, you must feel there's that responsibility as well of whether you want it or not, right? It's an externality of success, <laughs> right? Yeah. And so it's a heavy burden to carry. So what most people don't see is, you know, whoa, like I actually do have that impact. Can I do more? But you're only human and you only have so many hours in a day. Yeah. And that's when it gets complicated, right? Because that starts mixing with your reality. Right. And well, yeah, the reality is, uh, I would tell everybody, the band, can we go? Yeah. I said, yes, but don't cry. Oh, that's right. I said, yeah. don't cry. Yeah. And, and because these children are really strong and they've actually picked out their grave site and they, they, they know that they're on, on their way out, but don't cry. And, uh, and, and a lot of, of people couldn't handle it, especially yep. my mom. She couldn't handle it. Yep. She, she left and never came back and uh, at an orphanage in, uh, in Greece. But, you know, I try to be up and I try to go, hey, how you doing? And, and I mean, there was a kid that came on stage with me that was burned in a car accident by beyond recognition. And the doctor came to me and he said, right before I went on, the boy's going to die. He's probably got maybe seven hours, but he's going to die. And his last wish was to hear looking for freedom. I went, oh my God. And I, I and so I went, hey, how you doing? And I just, I walked on stage to, you know, seven, seven, 10,000 people and had to uh, carry this burden. And I would go off, how you doing, man? You know, and, and talk to the kid. And he passed away um, the next day, but um, he got to see, his dream and um you know it, it's about a personal commitment it's mm -hmm. about making a 
difference. One man can make a difference is the theme of Night Rider. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, right. and and making a difference in people's lives. You know, that's why when people say, what are you going to talk about? And I said, about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, about 10 minutes, exactly. So, so this is what's hopeful about this, right? So the reason for sharing this, because I think most of the people in the world don't really know who you are, right? And I don't see enough of this conversation, you sharing this, and that's what moved me the most. That's like, you know, I grew up on Knight Rider, right? So that was like, it, I like everything about Knight Rider and Baywatch, right? And then, and which was, and then the, the spinoff, I would say Miami Vice, right? Was very inspired by a lot of the work you did. Right. Um, and, and so in that sense, like that was my lens to the world, right? So it's super inspiring. People don't realize that even though you might not think you have impact, you do. Yeah. And that's the lesson here, right? Is that hope comes from this awareness that you can do more, yeah. right? And you have done so much already, but I just want to showcase to the world and this global leadership community that of your work of impact and hope that you provide for the world. Well, the lady uh, who ran Checkpoint Charlie was from Kiev and she's Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. And I just called her in my back lawn. From where I live in Calabasas, and I, I said, "Oh, Alexander Hildebrand." So I, I dialed the number. Hey, are you from? Aren't you from Kiev? She goes, "Yeah." And didn't you ask me to sing "Looking for Freedom" in two thousand eight, and bringing the world together? She said, "Yes." And I said, "I, I gotta go, but I'll, I'll call you back tomorrow." And I called her back, and she was crying. Mm -hmm. She was crying, and I, I said, "What's going on?" She goes, "They're destroying my country. They're destroying my yeah." And that had a huge impact on me. I remember because yeah. I had to stop you from. We had to the, your your team had to stop you from going and and to keep like yeah. I, like like I remember I remember this conversation. I was like, "Dude, like you know, I know you want to help, but there, yeah. what's the other ways you can help right now?" Um, and that was that was again, you know, from then. There's another version of of what our experiences together have been and, and it, uh, just like you're a real life hero. So that's my one point, you know, you were, there was an incident where we had a, someone break into our neighborhood, right? <laughs> and, and, and so, you know, I'm, I just hear all this commotion and, and, and all I like see, I walk out and I see uh, David in his, in his, in his uh, uh, escalade. escalade stopping someone from, like breaking into his house with this car. So he's out there like a superhero, right? Protecting his lady and then <laughs> literally stopping somebody from breaking into his house in real time. And so that's that's typical, like David. I was like, yeah, I'm not surprised. And, all, and, I, and what Fernando said was, oh, it's just another episode of Night Rider. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy was running up the driveway. Yeah. And we yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. those, I mean, taking that from theirs and saying, you know, you, you know, when Knight Rider came into being, most of us, you know, other than the Jetsons, had never thought about the yeah. concept of a driving, right. you know, self-driving car or a flying car, or or the or the watch, yeah. or 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 some of the technology that you brought into it, you know, video conferencing, which yes. of course didn't seem like a thing at the time, yeah, right, and yet here we are, we live in this world, <laughs> right? You you've seen this world come into being um and and you know what do you think you know did you think at the time that this was going to be possible yeah yeah uh, that, that, i think it's hard to watch yeah, right yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you speak into uh -huh. do you have an i watch you speak into yeah oh, i mean I, it's kind of scary isn't you know? it <laughs> you know that that we can recreate fernando with oh, yeah. ai yeah. and artificial intelligence and i can recreate you and you can say, uh, you can fill the computer with uh, all kinds of sayings, and then you can, the computer will write a letter like happy birthday to yeah. to so-and-so, you know, yeah. and one man can make a difference, blah, blah, blah. And, and they, they can, they can um, realize that they're writing, that the computer is writing for Fernando or for Anana, right? Mm -hmm. And, and they, and, and, the, and it scared me because I did a whole script uh, that was written by AI, by a computer. And it was pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like yeah. you passed the test, yeah. right? The Turing yeah. test, right? So I, it's, it's really kind of scary. What well, how do you happening. feel about that? Do you, would you want to be preserved digitally? No. 
Why not? No. Well, why not? Because I, I'm old school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I, I, I I got famous because I earned it, you know, and because I held the children's hands and, yeah. and you know, I'm, I'm old school. I'm not, I'm not a member of social media or Tic Tac or, you know, I just, I, I don't, I don't measure my popularity in influencing people. I measure my popularity in the work that I do, you know, wow. and, and the, 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 you know, and yet I got, got, got great reviews on Z network and I was so excited. Yeah. I got great reviews, Yeah, you know, and then the show got great reviews and we thought, Wow, I'm the new kid on the block at 70. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. I'm not the new kid on the block. Yeah. No, but you know, I mean that, that that just brings brings forward a very, very important aspect of the difference between individuals and AI, right? AI would self-propagate, mm -hmm. would, would create itself and may better itself continually. In 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 David's case, he has lived his life. He has done a amazing job of not wanting to influence but influencing generations right. yeah. across the world. Um, you know, I can say to you that that we don't even have to see Kit or you. The music <laughs> coming on within dun, two dun, seconds dun. Yeah. means to us yeah. Yeah. that you're going to be on. Mm -hmm. and, and that's kind of, you know, the, the impact that you've made. But the, the more impact that you've made is the Berlin Wall, but not just the Berlin Wall, no. this, this hope. Mm -hmm. right this feeling of hope and freedom but but coming back to you know you you were there for the wall falling and, and mm -hmm. ushering in this era of peace in europe yeah. right and 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 yet now we are again at, at in a war at the at the cusp of engaging all of europe in a war um you know did you think that that would happen again no. you know no no i was when i went to gera i was really surprised at how quiet the people were and and i I kind of realized uh, because I'd been to St. Petersburg in Russia and the people were very oppressed and very quiet. And the same way with Gira, hello. And they went, I said, hello. <laughs> and they just, you know, usually I get hoff, hoff, hoff. I mean, if you come to one of my concerts, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing because uh, watching me is good. But watching the audience is really good because the audience really gets into it, mm -hmm. and you know, and they and they get into it because they go back to their childhood, that's yeah, right, because they go back to a place where they're happy, you know, and that's what we need to do, and and that's what you brought into 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 that yeah, time right, right. and how continued do, that. How do I do that worldwide? You're yeah. doing it. You're yeah, yeah. yeah, so, you, you so being you're, you're in the, <laughs> the hurricane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're in the you're the center of the hurricane, yeah. right? And yeah. so consistently there's a hurricane of influence you have. And that's what I it's very difficult to see that when you're in the hurricane. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, it's so, very difficult for, for people to take me seriously. Um and uh that's why when I met you and I said, you know, I sing in Spanish and I sing in German, I sing in uh, in, uh, in French. By the way, people, everyone watching, he came literally to my house, not knowing me. He just knocked on my door. Yeah. But he, I, yeah. And I I, I I knocked on your door, but that, but that, but, but that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah, that's, 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 that's some coolness. That's being a neighbor. Yeah, yeah. But not only just being a neighbor, but being that person of knowing that you know you you can make a difference. Yeah. And and then the thing is that even though you. But how do we make a difference? The way we make a difference this, is this, we do. So, this is how so, we make so a difference so by yeah, creating worldwide, content. Worldwide, yeah. worldwide concert. Yeah. You know because. I mean, the guy from Coldplay, Chris Martin, Chris Martin yeah. he, I was at the dentist mm -hmm. and he's done it, done it, done it, done it, done it. <laughs> I, 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 I turned back and I went, <laughs> what? who are you? And he goes, uh, I'm in a band. He was more humble. And I said, you're in a band. What, what, what's the name of that band? He said, Coldplay. I went, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And it turned out we became friends. He lives up in Zuma. And he's dating Dakota Johnson. I just saw what, what's so interesting is this, this happens to you all the time. It's hilarious because it's like an alternate reality of existence, right? <laughs> that only, like, you get to witness every day at your team, like Joe. And, like, and it's so unreal. Like, what's it like driving around being David Oswald? It's like, right? You, you get, like, everywhere you, like, 
there's no there's no it's never weird anything. yeah it's weird right it's still to this day right but that's the point to the non ones making of your, your humility is like you don't you never let that never has been a part of you like you never let that affect who you really are no that's interesting no it's like uh tmz has got like what 20 buses you know and my wife says oh stop they're, they're from the uk <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I don't want to stop i don't i gotta go home <laughs> Stop and wave, for God's sake. So I go, there are no celebrities <laughs> in Beverly Hills. And they go, the people go, oh, 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 oh. and they try to get their camera, cameras up, and I take off. <laughs> and they go, I, I, I miss it. You know? <laughs> I, 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 it took me eight groups of people to get from Beverly Hills oh to God. Outpost. Yep. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah, I can, I can understand that. I mean, uh, but, you know, the, the, so we, you should do that with me sometime. You know, raid, your, raid the bus. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah, I, I had quite a long, so I, I'm privileged, you know, I got to spend time with, with you, so I'm, I'm spoiled, but also like, you know, the artists as well, like the other yeah. artists that we have here coming through here is, is you know, so I, 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 you like the story, so I'll share a quick anecdote. I was talking, or I was having this conversation with Lady Gaga, this is where I started, why, why right. would you ask you that question, like, what's right. it like, like going to the grocery store? And I was complaining because I was on tour with her. I was, I was kind of like venting with her. I was exhausted. You know, you don't sleep on tour, right? You're just kind of constantly going. And, and I asked her, I said, uh, you know, man, I, I, I can't get out even like to go get some some food. Like your 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 fans are amazing, but they, they're, they're consist constantly there, right? Like it's like how, you know, it's crazy. Like I can't even, it's like, and she goes, Fernando, I can't even go to the grocery store. Like, like, why are you complaining? Like, yeah, right. And it, it it just showed me like, wow, like pain is relative, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like we only know our own pain, right? And so your constant reminder of that, that that <laughs> that that is that understanding that we all feel the same pain, whether whatever dexterity of pain that you threshold that you might have is still pain. And that's also the the inspiring message that you existing gives people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, but you know, it's 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 so it's strange being me. I mean, I I was doing like nine to five at the West End and staying at the Savoy, and I said if I can stay at the at the hotel, which is right next to the theater, then I'll I'll take it. So they gave it to me, and um, my wife, who's lovely and and sees the world like. The world, and because she's from a very poor area, like Gira in uh, in Wales, um, and uh, there was so I I went to a farmhouse and and got away from from all the people, and then I said let's go into town, and she said okay, so I went into town, and <laughs> there was a man who was had a stroke and was getting out of his car, and I said. Oh, let me help this guy as, as you would. And the people around me just. Yep. And I went, hey, can I can I have some help here? And they went. Yeah. And I, I helped the guy to his car and to his trunk. And he said, hey, Danka, mm -hmm. feeling dunk. Thank you. And he, and he left. And I said, what that what's what's wrong with you people? And I realized that they had just they had seen their hero and, and yeah, they person. they freaked out. Yeah. But, but at least their hero doing what he done. Yeah, right. right? Like caught, real, you know, I, I, I felt like, you know, what's wrong with these people, you know? And that's what's wrong with the world is is that we need to help each other. Right. You know, we need to to help a lady across the street, mm -hmm. right, for God's sakes. But yeah. only if she wants to go. Just, just in case, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, but yeah, no, I mean, I, and you bring up you bring up a very, very important thing of saying is that everybody can be a hero, right? And and, and, yeah. and but you took that as a celebrity, as somebody who is so well known, and continue to do that, and continue to want to do that, and that to me is absolutely inspirational. So, give a message for what is happening around the world. What is your message to the world today, as all the characters you've been, you know, obviously every one of them famous in its own rights. You're you as a singer, as a as an actor, as 
as as a human being today what is your message to the world show up wow. just show up you know and i haven't shown up because i'm afraid to to go to the market even in calabasas and um i have my wife go in for me um but you can affect people in a positive way and it's really important that that we just show up i mean and you help the lady across the street and if she wants to go <laughs> and and you you do the best you can even at the smallest incident incident i got to know the um the names of the night rider crew yeah that's right the crew i remember yeah. i met them they yeah. were at your party your birthday party yeah, yeah. yeah. the crew and and one of the guys name was walker he passed away he said we went ahead we went ahead and I'm, i met his son his son came up to me and he said i'm walker's son and i went oh yeah is walker you know no he passed away i went wow you know and i said your father had such an effect on me and and the the guy who plays kit william daniels said i've never ever seen a crew love a star as much as they love david hasselhoff and it's because i i learned their names you know but i mean i would say this to you i have a i have a yeah. 16 17 year old now yeah but... okay so you david said to me as, as, as we we're talking on the street as strangers said to me let's take a picture together and i'm thinking in the back of my mind going i should be asking that question david not you but okay yes let's take a picture together so i went home and i showed this to my son now my son was very involved in it. he was an intern here um he saw billionaires he saw the brightest minds in tech he saw the brightest minds in the world talk on this panel and he looked at the photo i didn't i had absolutely said nothing and he goes you got to meet the half <laughs> <laughs> so if you think that your your influence is diminishing what i would say to you is that my son who is a completely new generation is yeah. inspired by night rider yeah. is is inspired because when i when when we sat down and and saw it for the first time the first episode he saw which was episode 1 and he said i love this show yeah and he then proceeded to spend the next 3 days as kids do now in watching every episode <laughs> yeah right yeah. streaming uh, streaming mm -hmm. yeah and and he streamed every episode of yeah. yours and made it made it a thing now anika put the 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 context into what david has said about a small town on the eastern side of germany and 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 tell us where you're from so i actually i'm also a filmmaker i'm entertainment now different generation obviously grew up somewhere completely different came out here so i'm in that same industry and you're ever present your message of hope and that signal that you carried back then you still carry everybody knows and people because of what you're doing do try to show up they're doing their best yeah. so if you can continue that that would be really awesome you're doing it this is a great point i mean first person um um witness you are right. and this is amazing and all this is right so if you look at it you know let's say the you know again you're in the eye of the storm so you you don't see this right but the reality this is just a disconnect with digital strategy if you're in this is the only reason why you might think it's not connecting as 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 it was previously. It, it is you're completely wrong about this. It is super connecting, mm -hmm. right? So much so that people had children because of you, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Like you inspired. Name to Michael. <laughs> Name to Michael. That's right. I mean, absolutely. Yeah, that's, right. Yeah. that's right. That's yeah. right. Uh, but but my, my point that this is a very so so my hopes is hopefully a gift back to you for you you know participating in this is that we can inspire global leaders mm -hmm. if they if 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 they would like to maybe connect with you regards to global impact, yeah. to um, helping kids, to, to uh, raising awareness for marginalized communities or, or just, yeah. just um, a green initiatives, whatever inspires you and inspires a community, right? I think um, I'd love for them to see if they can reach out to you to digital, to yeah. go on social media and Instagram, yeah. right? And, and get a, connect with you or reach out to them on as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think that, you know, that that's my point in saying that, you know, um, Again, when he told me all the other neighbors and so it was not really of any interest to me, but of was what most interest was David Hassel. Yeah. 
you know, because that's an impact personally in my life. And as you said, it's the child within me that <laughs> once at that when was growing up was a superhero in his mind and then saw David Hasselhoff playing Michael Knight yeah. and saying one man can make a difference. Yeah. Right. And you are still making a difference. And the fact that you had to be restrained from going into Kiev shows that that willingness to make a difference and to be that yeah. agent of impact and yeah. change I love is still there. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to go. Yeah. And I think I love to, you know, it's, 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 there's some, I mean, there's a way of, of helping the children and, and, you know, by, by, by having the corporations reach out to Fernando or to Anand and just really uh, letting them know what their interests are and, and how I can make, I haven't been to India yet, you know, and, and we, I mean, we would love India. to invite yeah, you. We yeah. would love to invite you because I think that, you know, you, you would find that there are multiple yeah. generations of fans oh, yeah. waiting yeah. for you That's and like uh, waiting, waiting. They would I know. Be I talked to thrilled. a man in, in, in Kerala and, uh, you know, it was raining. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> it's the monsoon, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I talked to my next door neighbor, uh, um, Ajay, and he's he was he's a brain surgeon. And um, and I I said, where are you from? He said, Kerala. And I went, wow. And I said, I'm really getting this this. I don't want to go to India and walk outside, you know, and be David Hasselhoff. I want to go to India and walk outside and be David Hasselhoff. Yes. I want to it. affect people in a positive way. Yes. I want to go to the hospitals. I want to hold the hand of a child. Mm -hmm. I want to help them. You know, I want to help the people, you know. And, and David, and we will I, make a commitment to you to make that possible okay. over in a very short right. time. Very what short. I, in a very short time. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and you can take our words for that. Yeah. But what I would also like to kind of just, just point out to you and, and, and just be very clear about is that, you know, from all of our perspectives. And we have some people in the audience who I'd love to invite to if you have a question uh, and, 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 and participate. Sam, Rebecca, Anita, you know, uh, and what I wanna say coming back to the Ukraine side of it is we have been fortunate enough on our digital Davos in Switzerland to be able to have some of the top people from the Ukraine uh, and to be a agent of change for the Ukraine. Uh, with this program. So uh, we will also reach out to um, our, the, the, the couple of the creators of, uh, of, of Digital Davos uh, who are in personal touch with President Zelensky, are in touch with uh, Mayor Klitschko of Kiev, uh, have hosted events with them. Uh, and you know how I could make a difference? Sir? By going, by going okay. to Switzerland, by going to to uh, Thailand by going to Singapore mm -hmm. and just showing up, yep. you know, and and doing a television series about, you know, it's called just showing up, okay. you know, and that and then I just go to Netflix and I say I have a series. This man's writing it, and and honest to God, it's weird how many people know me. It's because of my recognizability that I can get in to any situation where. Noriega called me to where Reagan's called me to where Clinton's called me to where, you know, it's, it's, I'm able to get inside a door because of everyone has a childhood. Yes. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And you push, sorry, and you, you would, would important, important point I must point out. And I've met some of your crew and, and, and cast at your birthday party and you know, there was like there was no one hiring African Americans and on, on these sets at that time. Yeah. At that time, yeah, right. Like, um, and it was so bizarre to hear. Like, it was like, it's like, yeah, I'm, he was like the first African American like co-star on 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 a primetime syndicate show, right? It's like your show. Yeah. It's like what? Like, yeah, David pushed for that. I'm like, David would not do the show without me being a co-star. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Wow, right? And and so, but I, I, I want to open this. I, I want to push for questions because I want to hear from Rebecca. I see your your ear your, your ears perking up. But uh, do you have you have a question you like to ask? Um, so many, so many. Um, so I teach a lot of students. I teach at Stanford and ASU Thunderbird, and, oh, cool. and a lot of this new generation really struggles to find uh, what 
not only the causes they care about, but the, the life purpose. They think about this not from the perspective of I want to be successful, make money, be famous. They think about this from the perspective of how can I contribute positively to this planet and what is my role in it? Do you have any advice to 20 something year olds who are going through that process? Just get involved, you know? It's like uh, people ask me, how do you get into show business? I said, just get on the set, get on the set. You know, you can make a difference. You could be riding a bike and and you are getting up on the Paramount lot and then a man sees you. That man happens to be the producer and the producer puts you in, in the film. You know, just get involved, get involved in whatever. And, um, you know, I've been to Sweden and I have my own show, and, uh, you know, and uh, David Hasselhoff. Hello, I'm David Hasselhoff in Sweden. My guests are, I have no idea, nah. because I'm in Sweden, ha, nah. look. And I went outside in the Swedish snow. And our first guest is, well, I don't know. <laughs> and, and it turns out to be the prime minister. Said, You're the prime minister? <laughs> what do you do? He goes, well, I do a lot. I said, well, what do you do about crime? You know, because I know that the crime is non-existent in Sweden, but they have every show right. about crime. About crime. Every right. TV show is about crime. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, can I ask about a question? Yeah, sure. Yes. Um, so, you know, in all of the topics that I teach, investing, technology, etc., I say the one thing that you have to learn, like if you could take one subject in school, is storytelling, because it percolates into everything you do in life. And, and I think the re reason why you relate to your audience so much is that you are an amazing storyteller you know, through your work, but also I'm just seeing you live and you're so engaging. Um, how can uh, students, you know, young people develop that talent and that skill to be able to um, resonate with their audience, whether that's an investor, whether that's, you know, a, a movie, an audience in a movie, how can they engage with them? Help a lady across the street. That's it. Help a lady across the street. Get involved. You know, just show up. Get involved. Get involved, you know, in whatever, you know. I'm still trying to figure out how to make a global difference, you know. And today is actually giving me some ideas, you know. And um, uh, I will make a difference. I thought I, I would make a difference with a television series. But it was too, <laughs> too heavy. It was it was not like Baywatch, not like Knight Rider. And the director said, this is not for the Baywatch audience. This is not for the Knight Rider audience. And I said, uh, yeah. And But it got great reviews, great reviews. And I got great reviews, which is great, you know? Shows that I can act <laughs> and, uh, and not just be an action star, you know? No, and I think I think it's a very very important thing, and I think what Rebecca Rebecca is 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 saying is that you know, the way that you talk to people, the way that you've been able to connect, not just through the through through media, but in person, you are an impressive person. You you are a man of stature. You are a man of presence. You are a man who, when you look at and say, yes, this man makes a difference. The, the, what I pick up from this is essentially you're even in what you do, like you're you're pitching a show idea that we've been talking for 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 quite a bit about, which you know, but through impact, right? So yeah. like you want to create a show around impact, the yeah. impact that you can make and document it to inspire for the people. So mm -hmm. this is a point. I think I think your intent and at your core, your your there's there's this authenticity that goes. Um, that's inarguable, right? And it comes with your core, right? So I think to answer your question, Rebecca, it's like essence, right? It's not so much that he's trying, right? Because I've asked myself the same question as I witness him having the same impact on me as he does with his audience, right? In person, I'm like, dude, like this is really who you are. Like, this is bizarre. That would make but, an impact. Yeah, but 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 you amplify that, right? Yeah. And that's what I think David has done through his output creatively is that he's just amplified himself. Right. So that's I think that skill, right, to be able to do is to mm -hmm. cultivate that transparency, right? Work on yourself and then find a way to articulate it and scale that, right? Yep. That that's absolutely correct. And uh and I think you know, um David So produce had, my series. Yeah, so we've had <laughs> 
<laughs> We've had such an engaging conversation. I really, really love this format because I think that uh, this was planned all of 12 hours ago. Um, you know, and so you know, just wanted to just on the driveway, sure. on a driveway, you know, across the street. Uh, across yeah. the street. Yeah. So you know, so so I just wanted to kind of point out and say that you know, it didn't take much for us to put this together because yeah. we we all have so many questions for you. We all have such an uh, you know a uh, uh, thankfulness in our heart for having had you in our lives and you seeing the impact that you have made without even you recognizing sometimes what impact you've made yeah, and true. where you've made around the world. So Anika. I, I do have another question and it goes to the word freedom. My grandparents, when the wall came down, um, told me the following thing. They said, you have freedom that we never had. Go use it. Yeah. What yeah. does freedom mean to you? Yeah. Freedom, of, I go, wow. We're, Freedom means being able to travel and 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 to go around the world and and to affect people in, in a in a positive way. Freedom means being able to to go to Calabasas and look for the avocados, you know. And I usually go at midnight, <laughs> and, and I usually when great. I go, you just gave away. Well, I'm going to get a line of people trying to get avocados, but okay. I was going to say, I'm the night writer at midnight, but avocados. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. well yeah. thank you, Dave, thank for, you for doing yeah. this. Yeah. What an yeah. honor, and, and probably the highlight of like like a whole. Yeah, okay. yeah. We, yeah. You really tied it together for yeah, us in, 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 in showing us how impact and that how one man can genuinely make a difference. Yeah. And right. that and that 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 your message of get involved, of do something instead of just and be there right? I mean, it's yeah, important yeah and you're walking catalyst of imposter syndrome right like yeah. you're like so successful don't see yourself as successful right still to this day which is super humbling i think that's something that we should admire as yeah, opposed to like absolutely. like essentially like look to to correct right no like that's awesome that's who you are so thank yeah. you for being you thank you for being you we really appreciate it all right thank, thank, you. You. thank you thank you and next time a song yeah <laughs> yes thank you.